Hey everybody, Kevin here, Coliseum of Comics. Uh, I am hanging out here in our Kissimmee location. It is Wednesday, March 27th, and this are my picks for this week. I gotta tell you right now, there's so many great books out in comics right now. Uh, you should be out here, you should be reading. Here are some choices you may want to look at uh, while you're out perusing the stores. Let's start off this week, we're gonna go with DC. A lot of great stuff came out from DC this week. Uh, one of my favorites, uh, right off the bat, Batman, Brave and the Bold, number 11. There are five different stories here. Uh, there are two Batman stories. There is a Batlash. There is a Sergeant Rock. There is an Artemis. Let's talk about some of these. Uh, Batman, the first story, Batman, Mother's Day, written and art by Carl uh, Kershaw. I, honestly, this reminds me of the old days, the early days of the Nightwing comic. The art is so fantastic. Um, I, I enjoyed the daylights out of it. Uh, there's a whole bevy of man bat bevy of man bats. Is that the right term? But uh, uh, Bruce is busy trying to hunt them down, and he gets himself a little over his head. I'm loving it. What a fun story it is. The next story in the series is Sweet Science. It is a bat lash title. It's a western, um, and I love just right off the bat. There's such a, a focus change. Um, just from the from the really intense Batman story to this uh, very lighthearted Western uh, boxing match with Batlash is just uh, man, it's fun. I just I sat there and I was after that first one, I, it was like a nice little cleanser from my palate. Then we slide on um, to uh, uh, the second part of Artemis Poison Within. Um, Again, another great, fantastic story uh, with, with Artemis. This was written by um, Delilah Dawson. The art is by Serge Acuna. Um, uh, absolutely fantastic. And then again, we switch gears. This book switched gears so much on me this week. We get a Sergeant Rock story called Private Stein, written by Michael W. Conrad. The art is by P.J. Holden. Man, I enjoyed it. And then to top it off, after you get through this fantastic Sergeant Rock story, uh, where do we go to? We go to a beautiful Batman black and white story, uh, The Crown of Twelve Tales, written by Zach Thompson, art by Ashley Wood. Man, oh man, Ashevitz, I love this. Uh, what a fun book. Batman, Brave and the Bold, number 11. It's out today. It has something for absolutely everybody. Let's slide over to my other picks for um, for DC this week. Let's go Green Arrow, number 10. This book is constantly on my list of great reads. It is written by Joshua Williamson. The art is by Tom Derenick. Uh, let me open to a page here that wasn't an ad. Here we go. Uh, look at that art. Fan. Fantastic. I love this. Uh, Green Arrow is searching for Roy Hopper. He's brought along Connor Hawk. So that's two members of the Arrow family. The question is, what has Amanda Waller done with the rest of the Arrow family? And I, honestly, I love it. What, I love like the Superman family. I love the Bats family. And I really love the Green Arrow family. This book is such a great read. It is out today. Pick it up. Don't miss. Look at this. Look at that art. Huh, that was Alex cover of the week. Check out that video. Uh, and my final pick, which wasn't in the other videos, uh, a little different, uh, more for, for younger reasons. Man, I enjoyed it. Primer, uh, number one. Uh, this is written by Jennifer Miro and Thomas Kajewski. Uh, the art, and one of the reasons I love it is I love this style art. Oh my God, beautifully done by Greta Lusky. Uh, you discover the origin of Primer. Her name is Ashley Rayburn. She's hopped from one foster home to another, but the new foster parents she's found, well, looks like it change your life for the better. This was such a fun read. If you've got younger readers, start them off with this. I enjoyed the daylights out of this. Man, it was fun. And comics are supposed to be fun, right? That's why we read them. We don't read them to go, ooh, such a drudge. Fun books. Those are my DC picks. Let's hop over to our friends at Marvel. On my first one from Marvel this week, another fun book. Ultimate Spider-Man, number three, written by Jonathan Hickman. The art is by Marco Cicchetto, uh, Cicchetto, excuse me. Uh, it's a new costume. It's a new business. It's a new hero. 
Green, Green Goblin, a new villain. Um, uh, this book, if you're not reading it, look at how much it's, it's, remember when you first read Spider-Man, you went, oh, what a fun hero. That's what this is, but he's a little older, so guys like me go, oh, that's kind of what I'd be like if I, you know, actually got in shape and did stuff like that. But what a, what a great book. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, it is out. To, I'm gonna, I was just about to show you the same page I showed you. Um, Ultimate Spider-Man, number three. Such a great read from Marvel. My second book, Marvel Gods. This is number six, also written by Jonathan Hickman. Art is by Valerio Shidi. This is another book that always is on my top list every week. It's one of the first things, every month, it's one of the first things I read. I can't get enough of it. Um, Ico has done something absolutely horrible, and now she wants to make up for it. She wants to fix that. But the price may be too much for her to pay. Um, if you have been reading this book, you, you're going to agree with me. It's absolutely fantastic. It is such a wonderful read. Um, if you're not reading the book, man hop on it what a great time marvel gods number six jonathan hickman boom two in a row for marvel man just such a great read my third pick is as, again it's another fun pick if you've got young readers um or just fans of the old x-men x-men 97 number one it is out today i enjoyed this written by steve fox art by salvador espin um it is just a fun read if you're if you're like i love the x-men and it's really hard uh, it's really heavy not hard it's really heavy to get through this is a, just a nice light good time guest starring dazzler this is a prelude to the disney plus series so if you're watching disney plus series this is kind of what happened between those two it's a fun book again if you've got young readers get them hooked you know like we did when we were reading when we were kids Okay, so that's my three from Marvel. Let's slide over to Independent. Independent, man, I always say this. There's so many great books, and I had a good time this week. Let's start off with my first pick from Image Comics. Our friends at Image do a fantastic job. This is Duke number four. Look at that cover, my friends. Uh, written by Joshua Williamson, who wrote Green Arrow from before. Amazing. The art is by Tom Riley. I enjoy... Uh, I've been enjoying the book, this book for so long now, um, at least four, four months. <laughs> I've been enjoying this book. Why? Because it is everything an action book should be. And I love it, like in, a, in an action movie or um, uh, an action series when the bad guy says, what does it take to kill this guy? Uh, that said, and it's, I, honestly, I was like, woohoo, when I read it. If you're a fan of action, this is it. Now, for my uh, my second pick, it's also from Image. It is Feral, number one. This is written by Tony Fleeks, art by Tone Rodriguez. Uh, if you recognize those names, you do it because you read the immensely popular series, Stray Dogs. Uh, this is along that line. You're going to meet three cats here. Elsie, Lord Fluffy, Britches, and Patch. Uh, they are three indoor cats who are caught outside during a rabies outbreak. So you want to think of this, kind of like a Don Bluth cartoon meets The Walking Dead. So if you're a Disney fan, this hits. If you're an animation fan, this is right there. The art is absolutely stunning. Man, I loved it. It makes you feel for the characters right away. Look, look, look right over here. Just attitude right there. Um, and um, if you're a fan of like horror, The Walking Dead, something like that, this is also gonna gonna just quench that thirst in a different way. Uh, this is Feral number one. I enjoyed the absolute daylight. I love Stray Dogs, so uh, this was right in my wheelhouse. If you love animals, if you love animation, if you love horror, you're gonna love Feral. That's out today. My third pick from Independent, from our friends at Dark Horse, another great book. The Goon, right there, yeah. Them That Don't Stay Dead. I love that. Man, I gotta tell you right now, this is written, the art is by Eric Powell, and God, I enjoy it. I just enjoyed everything about this. The way the language flows, the art, just that feel to it. I, look, I, you know, it's the 25th anniversary, and they've, they've brought us all back to Nameless Town and Lonely Street, 
and it is I don't I, I almost turned into a spoiler I don't want to do that uh, but the goon is such an amazing comic and it's so much fun and it's it's got a, a great flavor to it that um, once you pick it up you go I, I want to read it go back and read everything and why wouldn't you it's the goon it's by Dark Horse those are my choices this week I had nine choices but honestly ugh, I had a lot more that I could have chosen but these right here they really caught my attention and they were a lot of fun and that's what comics should be they should be fun so what do you need to do my friends first off before you sit down and read, get yourself a big old bowl of cereal so you can feel like a kid again. Um, <laughs> relax. Enjoy yourself. I mean, just picture this in your hands, reading, going, I've got nothing to do all day except go into these little worlds and have a great time like when I was a kid. That can happen. But the first thing you need to do to have that happen, say it with me, my friends, get thee to a Coliseum of Comics. I will see you in the stores.